Welcome. Uh, what I want to do is show you how to label um, angle 3. So we have angle 3. And a lot of times when we're talking about angle 3, we'll just say, hey, you know, here's there's the angle. The number inside of the angle we can sometimes we'll represent as that angle. But we can refer to the angle in a lot of different in a lot of different ways. Sometimes uh, we'll also just refer to it as the name of the vertex. So I can also call this angle M. So if I was talking about, you know, if I say angle M, then you could look at it and say, oh, that angle. So it's going to be the rotation between these rays. And then the third way that we're going to um, label our angles is by using the three points that can label them. So it could be P, M, L, or angle L, M, P. Now you might say, well, why don't I just use these two? Well, and if, if that's up to your, that's you know, up to your choice um, on how you're going to be labeled them by the vertex, by a number inside, um, or using three points. But the reason why we go over this is because sometimes in the, you know, a problem in the book um, or problems on your test might use all three of these different ways to label angles. So you got to make sure you understand that, yeah, they are, they're all different, but they're all describing the exact same angle. So there you go, ladies and gentlemen. That is how you describe an angle in uh, three, four different ways. Thanks.